what's up guys welcome back to half men of tech so this is actually crazy it's like these ios 14 updates are coming out like singles on an album in less than 24 hours since we last saw ios 14 the official version we now have the next ios update which is a beta of course and as you can see here it's ios 14.2 beta 1 for me on my iphone 6s you can see that it came in at around 3.45 gigs so this is a big file and if you have a device that is higher than the iphone 6s that you see here then expect the update size to be slightly larger now you'd like to think why ios 14.2 what happened to 14.1 or anything in between the reason for this is sort of pointed out by mark german and he basically says that the newer iphones that are supposed to be released in october will perhaps ship with ios 14.2 and next week we can sort of expect ios 14.1 to sort of be released to the public and fix most of the issues and bugs that people are facing so this is like sort of apple buying itself time so that they can be able to work on ios 14.1 and then once the public gets on ios 14.1 they will be able to release the newer iphones with ios 14.2 so that is perhaps one of the reasons why this is 14.2 but it can always change right now let's see what are the changes that we have here with this update if we go into the settings and go to the general and go to the about this section we can see the new software version that we have that it has an h at the end not the best when it comes to stability but again don't be fooled by the edge since the official version is already out it could even be more stable than the ios 14 version that we actually saw yesterday so that is the software version and then if we go down a little bit just to see the modern firmware you can see that it has changed and we have 8.02.00 it actually went down because on the previous version i had 8.02.01 so hopefully that means more stable because the 0.01 has been removed when it comes to cell wi-fi bluetooth and airdrop and anything alike now when it comes to new features and changes we now have a new shazam feature actually in the control center so if you go to the control center here then scroll down a little bit and look for where it says music recognition so if you add that you will notice that you now have shazam on your control center now this is possible because apple actually acquired shazam some time ago so if you have this turned on like this your iphone will be able to listen and recognize songs and be able to tell you which song is playing as long as it's highlighted and showing blue there so that is another new feature that came with this update let's just turn it off and something else that changed with this update has to do with the apple watch application so if we 3d touch so that you see this clear you can see that it now has the apple solo loop band which is the new bands that were introduced with the apple watch series 6 and the apple watch se in contrast to this let's compare this to ios 14 this is what ios 14 has you can see that the apple watch application has the older very style of the band and with ios 14 let's just bring it off this is 14.2 you can see that the band is continuous us. we don't have a divider here although here on this section where it says pair apple watch you can see that it has the older style so perhaps that is something that's going to be updated with the next version next if you use the apple music app you notice a change so if you force touch or 3d press there you notice that this icon is so massive now so if you compare this to what we have on ios 14 let me just show you what we have on ios 14 so that you can sort of see the difference you can see that if you are like sort of force touch or 3d touch this is smaller compared to what we now have on ios 14.2 so you can see that ios 14.2 now has a bigger icon when you pop it out so that is another change that came with this update and also when you are playing a song from a source say you are playing from spotify it will be able to show you the icon where it's playing from on the picture here or on the album art that will be playing on the song so that is a new feature that came with this update now when it comes to performance i did run geekbench scores and if we go here just to see my history History, you can see that the scores that I had on iOS 14 this is the official version that I ran at around 4 o'clock and at around 7 p.m. you can see the scores that I have on iOS 14.2 beta 1 so you can see that there isn't much of a change but when it comes to multi-core you can see that iOS 14.2 beta 1 is actually higher compared to iOS 14 so it might have an 
stage at the end when it comes to the software version but in terms of stability it's very stable no glitches and so far i'm enjoying my experience so far so now when it comes to some other stuff that we can expect when this version is officially released to everyone people are saying that you know when the newer iphones come out perhaps with ios 14.2 that's when we'll see apple services like the new fitness plus and also the apple one subscription bundle being fully rolled out and opened to everyone so perhaps that is something that we'll see when this ios 14.2 ships out with the newer iphones let me know what you think in the comments down below do you think that the newer iphones will ship with ios 14.2 or do you think that it's just a wild guess that doesn't make sense so basically that's about it for me guys i think we could sort of expect ios 14.1 very soon perhaps in a week or two because we now have 14.2 beta so that's about it for me when it comes to ios 14 when it comes to battery performance i actually didn't do much because well i just updated and was trying to find some new features and changes that came with this update but my battery health has remained at 80 percent and before the update it was on 80 percent so nothing much there but after two or three days i'll do a follow-up video where i show this in detail so that's about it for me guys if you like this video please leave a like and hit subscribe subscribe down below and thank you very much for watching stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video peace